accounts were you looking at? I'm not on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter anymore now. I'm teaching journalism. Oh, that's awesome! By the way, come on, let's 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 give Dr. Kemi a round of applause. It's Many about time now. Go. Freeze, freeze! Huh? You need to come to my media school. You need to come to I my will. media school and and enroll for something. <laughs> I will enroll definitely, for definitely try. blogging. I have twenty courses. I've been teaching for like three weeks. I promoted wow. it a year ago. Two hey. two twenty two media school. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Where do you get the and... two twenty two from? If I may ask. On January first, twenty twenty one, a year ago, I announced that I'm going to start a school where I'm going to teach media studies. So I said I'm going to open it on February second, twenty twenty two. Some people said open it on February twenty second because either way it's two 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 two. Because oh, February 2nd is 2222, angel number. And then February 22nd is also 2222. So it's like two different ones. So a year came and now we're here. So a lot of people have been coming to the page anyway. So we have 43,000 now. And Woo! the Twitter is open. I'm teaching on Zoom every single day. Last week, now you have to clap for me because last week I taught an entire TV station, journalism training, a TV station in Lagos. I gave everybody journalism. You know what the MD wanted? MD wanted their station to be the first place you go to before you start blog. <laughs> so I taught them how to put news out on social media, how to get more followers, all that. So if you want to learn blogging, Content creation, skit creation, everything. Facebook is paying $35,000 a month for skits, for um, reels. Have you seen that? They're paying that for U.S. address owners. Anyone that lives in the U.S. and has a U.S. bank account, you can make up to $35,000 a month on reels. Zuckerberg is really putting that money out there. So I'm training hmm. people how to make reels on Facebook. If I can make a reel on Instagram, you can make a reel on Facebook. So if you live in the United States, your money has come. And I'm also teaching Twitter monetization. I'm, I'm teaching everything. So if you want to see the course listings, they're on Twitter. On Twitter at 2222 Media School. They'll be on Instagram soon. I only turned on the Instagram because of you. You know, hmm. there's only one story oh. so far. Because you said you wanted me live. So can we go? Yes, definitely. It's what we've been waiting for. I have a lot of juice. Um, we've been waiting for you. And um, this particular gist is, is hot. It's smoking. Um, but before we go, tell us, we need to know a bit more about this, your school. How can people enroll? Uh, there are people who are listening right now who want to be journalists. How can they enroll in your school? Okay, now, first of all, remember, when you go to journalism school, you have to attend a university. Mm. I'm offering journalists who have already become journalists training sessions on how to be a better journalist. Many oh, people have okay. seen how, yeah, many people have seen how journalism is mismanaged and practiced in Nigeria. Like, during the Inibongu Morin thing, the murderer, alleged murderer, Akman, they were asking him questions like, did you wear a condom, all that stuff. No, no, no. That's not how it's practiced. If you're a journalist, I'll train you the better ways of practicing the profession. If you want to go to journalism school and you want to know how to be a better student and journalist and later on in life, come over and I'll teach you pre-journalism courses. Pre-journalism, what you need to know. If you want to be a blogger, I'll teach you how to blog, okay? I started mm. blogging in 1999, and I was the first Nigerian to be brought up in the blogosphere in the world. In 1999, via Google Fire. Now, if you want to be a music blogger, entertainment blogger, sports blogger, I'll teach you the beats. Now, the journalists who enroll in my school, like the TV station, I trained 10 employees. They're all journalists. All they wanted to know is how to put better content online. On Twitter, about two weeks ago, I had one of the board members of Punch Newspapers on Twitter. And you know what she said? She said, people love entertainment. That's why we're giving you more entertainment. Have you noticed that freeze? That Punch yeah. is now following everybody's Instagram gist. 
You know, anything anybody po po posts on Instagram now, you see it on Punch. And they said they figure that if it's all news, 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 asshole, rock, people are tired. People want to know what's going on on Basket Mouth's page, on this one, what Yabo Joe is wearing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm teaching all kinds of blogging beats. And some people are entertainment bloggers. Some people want, you know, um, sports. Some people want food blogging. Blogging makes a lot of money. The most important part of blogging is monetization. I've done all these things. Everything I've done is what I'm now teaching. Now, content creation, skits. If your comedian is buying a house or building a brand new house, I beg you, 95% of comedians in Nigeria that you see building houses, buying nice cars, they're making the money from the skits. So, but the average Nigerian don't know. You know what I mean? How to yeah. make that money. I'm getting older. I'm old now. I don't have time to be posting news or reporting. I will teach you how to do it. I've done all this stuff. So comedians, especially, if you, if you are funny or you feel that people laugh when you say something, even me, Freeze, you know I have some skits now on my old my, um, Instagram mm -hmm. page, my verified page. Funny skits are there. I even did some with the little girl, Aisha. So what you guys need to do... Oops, we lost you. To, 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 to media, the same hand on Twitter. Frozen, on frozen okay. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Clearly. Can you hear me now? Clearly. Okay, can I continue? Yes, please. So everybody can go to Twitter and find out the courses, the email, everything. And then I'll put you in different classes. I've been teaching since like February 2nd. And um, you'll see the course listing. I have about 20 courses and all. So that's the school. Tuition between 30000 and one fifty k per mm. course, per session. And you get a certificate of completion. Remember, it's not a journalism school. It is a media studies institute. So it's like so, a master class, more or less. Master class, workshop. You know, the same way I taught blogging. When I taught people mm. blogging. They pay me, but this time you're going to get a certificate of participation. Everything you, mm. you did, you know, they're all non-credit courses, but you've learned how to do it. I mean, how many people are going to be hiring somebody to come and do skits for them? No, mm. you do your own skits and you put it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Instagram is doing subscriptions now. If you put your skits, what's the best skit maker in Nigeria? I think it's this guy. I've looked at all of them, the comedians. The one that makes the most money is Brother Shaggy. You know him, right? Brother Shaggy is the one that makes the most money. Look at his content. He'll put it in a little form on Instagram and throw it on YouTube. Him, Macaroni, and a few others. They're doing well because the money in YouTube is big now. You know that already. Freeze. Big money on YouTube. Any YouTube videos. So I've passed 50,000 on YouTube, but YouTube is open. Okay, my personal page, my verified page is Facebook, Twitter, and say I'm not active in those pages. I open all of them back today, but not active. So I'm at school. 2222 Media, 2222 Media Institute, Sha. 2222 so, Institute. The handle is Media School, though. 2222 Media School. Mm. Instagram and Twitter. Facebook later. Facebook is coming later. So that's mm. it with the school. Thank you for promoting, you know, this is of the school course. page on anything, Instagram. Anything, anything to promote good journalism and also to encourage my lovely sister. Oh, yeah. One Dr. last Dr. time. Dr. Yeah. I'm also teaching crash course in investigative journalism. Okay. The crash course is the same thing that Tiger is doing. You know, Tiger Foundation. Tiger Foundation yes. is inviting Nigerian journalists to come and train five days to hold the government accountable. Investigative journalism is five days free. But you have to be a Nigerian journalist. You have to be a journalist. You know what they're trying to do? They're trying to make more journalists come out of their closets and not be afraid. Do you understand? Clearly, the enro the enrollment clear. was The enrollment was very poor. Not a lot of people wanted to do it. But me, I'm ready. You saw my video now that I told you that there's a criminal cartel in the police. Have you seen that video now? Yes, you showed it the to criminal me. And, cartel. And Six months we ago. Want to, we want to hear to talk about on today's topic. Um, right, right. Abakiyari versus yeah. NDLEA. You know, I personally don't know much about what happens in the police force or the NDLEA. Uh, personally, I'm quite impressed with the NDLEA um, for 
what they did here. Uh, quite a few people are suggesting that this is a stunt to prevent his, to prevent him being extradited. Uh, what is your take on that? Let's start there. Nigerians need to start thinking outside the box. There is a crime. Abba Kiari is not arrested as a stunt to prevent extradition to America. He can fight extradition if he wants. There's a real crime out there. Two things I want to clarify on this show, and I'll elaborate on them later. The first thing is that Abba Kiari was arrested for a drug crime, an alleged drug crime. He was arrested. He was set up, he was videotaped, and he was arrested. The second thing I want to clear on this show is that Obi Kubana's invitation to NDLEA, all right, does not have anything directly involved with this case so that I can't compromise the case at the NDLEA. What I want to tell people listening here is that Obi Kubana was only questioned about some people who they're calling convicted drug dealers that may have done business with him. Let me explain that carefully because people on, this is day three and people are dragging Obi Kubana into this. Obi Kubana is not a drug dealer. <laughs> not that I know of. And the problem is affiliation. Please say you understand what I mean by affiliation. Mm. Now, now, Obi, um, I had the mm -hmm. opportunity of talking to Obi Kubana over this and I asked him, yeah. He said, apparently, and these are his own words, yeah. uh, a few years back, somebody mm -hmm. paid some money into his account. Uh, yeah. It was for drinks. I don't remember clearly now because this was um, a while ago. Someone mm -hmm. bought some stuff. Maybe, I don't think mm -hmm. it was drinks or stuff. And yeah. later the person was uh, convicted or found to, to have been involved in... Um, so he was questioned along those lines. Uh, right. And that's what he told me himself in an interview, mm -hmm. which I'm sure if you go to my YouTube page, youtube.com. I saw that. Back, I saw that. that Let me say people, something. Chai Dove. You'll find it there, yeah. Okay. Chai Dove, one of, your, one of your commenters here. I didn't see anyone dragging Obi Kubana into this. Chai Dove, be intelligent. Don't be silly. They've dragged Obi into it. It's all over Twitter. Obi is trending for the third day in a row. Let me tell you about Obi Kubana, Okay. Obi Kubana is a businessman. Obi has real estate, hotels, estates, houses, clubs. But I'm going to the club. Somebody ordered drinks in the club, and I think I heard it was Dom Perignon. Now, Freeze, in 2019, somebody gave me Dom Perignon. It was 350000 Here you get. Today, that drink is almost half a million. They paid for drinks. And the drinks were expensive. If you're buying 10 bottles of Dom Perignon, you want to celebrate, nothing can stop you. You have to pay for it now. So if they paid it into Obi Kubana's account, the feds are tracking that person, not Obi. Okay? It's just like Linda during Dasuki. They gave Linda money for advert. Now they say she collected Dasuki money. And that's even government giving her money. So Obi has nothing to do with Kiari, Obi and Kiari are friends. They were at the mother's funeral together. They were at the IGP son's wedding together. Pictures tell a thousand words. But this case involving Kiari calling the NDLEA about the seizure to get his own part of it, allegedly, has nothing to do with Obi Iyegu. Let's go to Kiari. Kiari is not being arrested to avoid extradition. Sorry, hold on. Everybody's complaining about your voice echoing. Uh, Why is it echoing? No. Everybody is echoing. Can, Can you headphone? remove it? Yes. And your headphone, yeah. Is it better? You can remove it directly. Show sure, dancing. Is it better now or... Ocean Echo now. Ocean Echo. Ocean Echo. Let me see whether... I'm... Maybe you can unplug the headphone totally. I took it totally but, out. I'm hearing my voice back. You're right. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really hearing my voice back. Okay. Have you removed the headphones totally? It's gone. I just have the phone. It's not in my ears anymore. Okay. Um, is it better now? Guys, uh, everybody was complaining that it was really echoing. I'm even uh, hearing my voice. 
Okay. So they said lock Can we log out and come back in? Yes. Save this video. Save this part. No, Let's no, no, log no. Out. I'm not. I'm not closing the video. Just log out. Um, Tell me. Let me log out. Then you add phone? me again. I have other phones like I usually do, but none of them. Is no. Phone. Let me. Let off. me come out and come back in. Okay. All right. Let me do that. All right. Okay, guys. Can you hear me? Let me also use this as an opportunity uh, to log in from another account and watch. Uh, myself so I can hear if there's echo okay watch uh, there's no echo now so I can hear if there's echo okay we can hear you loud okay Freeze. Okay, so I've invited her back. Freeze. Yeah. Yes. The echo is still there, and I think it's coming from your side. No. I, we can't even see your picture anymore. We can only hear your voice. They can. They can. Can you hear me? Yes. We can. I'm seeing myself. I'm seeing myself. I'm seeing myself, and I'm using the iPhone. You know uh, what I'm saying? You have a few seconds delay on audio. She was recording. That's what was causing it. Someone said I wasn't recording. recording. I'm not recording. She said she's not recording. I'm not recording. I'm just on my phone. I'm on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let me okay, go some people say they can see you. Wow. Now you are logged out. <laughs> This is amazing. Just send hi again. Let me invite you again. Okay, people are saying, I'm not recording. I'm broadcasting live on YouTube, in, uh, TikTok, and uh, Facebook. Okay, so she's back again. Let me bring her up. Go live with Dr. Kemi. Um, we can see her clear. She's gone. Okay, she's back now. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. I think the echo is still there. And networking, I... but continue. No, I can hear you. I'm using Wi Fi. If I switch to Android, Inco, it's a bounce back. You know what? Let me watch you on another phone. Let me watch you on this phone. Okay. I wasn't recording, guys. Stop. So that was. I don't have to record. Free saves all these videos. Yes, I also, I save all my videos, so you can always download. I don't have to. It's too late to be recording anything. I don't even do all that. It's, I'm on. I'm not. I don't use Instagram Live as before. Wow. Freeze. Freeze. Could I switch to my Android phone? Freeze, should I go to my Android? Do you have an Android phone there? Yeah, let me switch to my Android. Okay, switch to your Android phone. Okay, let me log in and see. Let me switch to the Android. Okay. All right. A lot of people are asking me what's my TikTok handle at Daddy F R Z Daddy D A W D Y. F R Z D A double -D, D Y F R Z. You were complaining that the audio was uh, echoing. Now you will say you want it like that. Daddy Freeze, check out some uh, Aku. What did Summer say this time? Oh? The echo is okay, not totally bad. What about your show? I've retired from radio totally. I, I spent a whole week celebrating my retirement as I was leaving. So I'm no longer on the radio. Forgive me, guys. You can only catch me on my platforms for now. So we're waiting for her. 
Okay, I'm now on Android. Let's see. Android versus iPhone. I'm also broadcasting on both Android and iPhone, even though I have one, two, three iPhones and one Android. I'm also broadcasting. Freeze. Yes. Is, is the echo still there? It's so much better, but now I can't see you. I can see you. I don't know what's going on. Uh, okay. They said um, the, Emma, so is what the, will happen is it will uh, go out and then you come back in. Okay. She has switched already. Okay. Let me continue. I, yes. ca I can if see you, but you can't see me, right? Back in. Yes. What is it? It will cut you off because I can't see you. So what happens is there's okay. going to be an error. It will cut you off and then it will bring you back. Okay. Should I continue to see? Just continue. People say they can see me. Okay, let's... Now it's logged you out, just like I said. So send me a request again. Adablezi, how are you doing? They were asking about me on the radio just now. So I was trying to explain to them that me have retired from radio... So I'm waiting for her to log back in. I think it's an Instagram problem. All right, Dr. Kemi. Okay, now she's back, and hopefully this time um, we will be uninterrupted. Hmm. I think it's Auntie Kemi's... I think it's her network. Okay. Mm Okay, we're waiting for Auntie Kemi. Okay, free is not my network. Are you sure? Ah, and I don't want to uh, go live. Okay. Uh. Yes. Uh -huh. I came. I came to my oh, living better. room. Can, I can see you clearly. Are you using iPhone? I came iPhone? to my living room. There's no echo. Uh -huh. Are you using the echo is tiny iPhone? now. The echo is very tiny. Mm. It's an Instagram issue. Mm. Huh. Should we go ahead and start? Yes, continue. Okay, what I wanted to say is, first of all, we have to rule out certain things. Abakiari's mm. arrest has nothing to do with his extradition to hush up his case. Absolutely no relation. It just is a coincidence. All the stuff he was doing was in January. He went and called the NGLEA while he's a suspended police officer. He had no business doing that. Hmm. That echo is from Instagram. But he had yes. no... Um, continue, continue, continue. Ignore the echo. Okay. He had no business as a suspended police officer to call the NGLEA. He's no longer in the IRT. He's suspended in the IRT, Intelligence Response Unit. Six months ago, 
I spoke on Kike's show on Silverbird saying that the IRT and the STS, Special Tactical Squads, had a criminal cartel inside. Mm. They knew about the bandits. They knew about so many things. But the heads of the police knew that that cartel was operating. The STS and the IRT are very, very compromised. They should come in there and clean it up because we need good hands. And that's what I said in the video six months ago. It's on my page, my school page. However, Nigerians are not thinking outside the box. Automatically, Twitter was like, oh, fake arrest so that he doesn't go to America. He's not the first to face extradition. He can fight extradition. Second thing you need to rule out, Obi Kibana. Mm. Obi is a businessman. And one of the people involved in this drug deal happened to have done business with Obi in his club. They ordered mm. a lot of drinks. You know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. And the kind of drinks they ordered were very expensive. Liquor, like John Perignon, like four, five hundred thousand. All these things are very expensive. So if you see money moving from a convicted drug dealer's account into Obi's account, you got to call Obi to come in. They called him. They questioned him. He told them what he needed to tell them. And he's done. Obi did not snitch Kiari. This is what they're saying on Twitter. Obi did not snitch Kiari for anything. I don't know how close they are. He was at the mother's funeral, and they were both seen at the IGP son's wedding. But for God's sake, everybody on Twitter is dragging Obi on this. It's, he's been dragging for the third day. So Obi Kibana is not in there. If I were him, I'll just beef up my security because all these Kiari boys, okay, they're yeah. up and down and angry. Like I told you, there's a criminal cartel in there. Now, how about Kiari? Most people have seen the video. I will use the word allegations and allegedly because that's what it is. They showed us Abba Kiari talking to somebody in a drug deal, in an SUV. Mm. The person's face was blocked. The camera was strategically posted, uh, positioned, and the next frame of the video showed us $65,000 Okay, sixty thousand or five hundred, sixty thousand and five hundred dollars. But they show six stacks of ten thousand naira, ten thousand mm. dollars. So sixty thousand plus is what they claim that Abakiari gave the guy who was dealing in the drugs. Half of the drugs were real, half were fake. But they just caught Kiari giving him the money. Do you understand? Clearly. If you look at the video, we didn't see the frame of Kiari handing the cash to him. Kiari handed something to him. Can we prove it's cash? The next frame had the cash. And then the third frame had both of them getting out of the car. They caught him red-handed, but at the end of the day, the mistake he made was, you're on suspension. Why are you calling the NDLEA to find out about the consignment? He wanted part of the drugs. Allegedly, that's what the NDLEA said on the press release. So the young men that carry these drugs are the ones that, one of them was one of the ones they questioned OB for. So you get Clearly. OB Obi has cleared the air. Please, do you understand what I'm trying to say? If I have yes. a business, I, if I have a club, and you call me Freeze, and you say you want to do a party there, right? I need 20 drinks of this. I need 20 drinks of that. I need food. I need everything, right? Noble Igwe, the blogger, he said that almost every club in Nigeria, cocaine is served like a snack. Remember when he said that? Yes, um, I thought I heard that as well. Yeah, Noble Igwe said cocaine is stopped. But if cocaine is served at these parties, okay, and cocaine is illegal, what I will say is that Obi is only guilty by association. Obi cannot be at the club when they're serving cocaine, if they're serving at his club. He can't be at the club all the time. 
Okay, a girl was said to have died inside Obi's club. We saw a video that clearly showed the girl fell. You know what I mean? Mm. So this um, dragging of Obi to be honest, I, I I didn't see. You said you saw people mentioning Obi Kubana. I didn't see anyone mentioning. He's trending Obi Kubana. Maybe on Twitter because I'm not really in Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, he's been trending oh. on Twitter the third day, and it's too much. You know what I mean? He's trending on Twitter the third day. People are like insinuating that ah, he should go and hide somewhere. He snitched. He snitched. Kiari in. He did this. Don't drag him into it. He's not part of it. Let's talk about Kiari. Absolutely not. This, this, uh, as far as we're concerned, has nothing to do with Obi Kubana. Um, remember, uh, remember what happened with Linda. Unless the NDLA releases a statement. Uh, the NDLA. So. Um, uh, wow, we've lost. We've lost her. Uh, so also, oops, I wanted to ask a question. Um, I don't know how extradition works and I don't know what the Nigerian law or where the Nigerian, uh, legal system stands on extradition or extradition as the case may be. And, uh, I would have loved Dr. Kemi. Uh, I would have loved Dr. Kemi to share her personal perspective. Okay, somebody also said Obi Kubana is not trending on Twitter. I didn't see um, Obi trending myself. Um, I kind of agree with that. Uh, I did not eat any. I don't hear anything about. I, I also didn't. But like I like I always say, I cannot be on Twitter twenty four hours, and I'm not really on Twitter. Uh, I'm looking for her. Dr. Kemi, we're waiting for you. Someone said I blocked you. If I blocked you, Novex, it means say you miss Yan one day. Okay, Toyosi said he was trending on Twitter. I saw it. I didn't. Uh, someone said he is trending. Okay, Arise TV mentioned Obi Kubana. But I don't understand why he should be mentioned. I don't understand. Okay, so I think it's coming from Arise News because Amina Mohammed on youtube if i'm correct that's the video of the the phone dedicated to youtube um said uh he was mentioned on arise tv i didn't watch the arise tv neither did i saw it trend on twitter okay um cj marine said it's oji okbe that mentioned obi okay Arise News mentioned it. He was trending with a few pics they took together. That's coming from Creative Touch. Okay, okay. Now, let me ask a question. If Obi Kubana is friends, and, and you guys need to separate, you need to say, because I went through that with Hush Puppy. Um, you need to separate the fact that people can actually be friends with people who make a mistake or make mistakes or do illegal things uh you need to understand that people can meet say if you run a nightclub you definitely know police you will know police you will know politician it is sure do you understand it's like me i'm on social media there's hardly anyone who is someone today in nigeria who I don't know or I don't know of or who doesn't know me and doesn't know of me. So all I have to do is maybe go to a party or go to a club and, and meet somebody there. And before you know it, they would, um, uh, they would link us together. I went through that with a hush puppy incident. And I, everybody was like, yeah, Daddy Freeze, you knew this, you knew this. He was your friend. Yes, he was my friend. He was my guy. We're cool. Um, but because we're cool, you, you guys need to stop. Hey, 
wrap your mind out of it because you're cool with someone doesn't mean you're collecting money with them doesn't mean you approve of all the things they do doesn't mean you're even involved in all the things they do social media has brought our lives to the public everything i do if i go somewhere now there's a camera that'll take a picture of me or i take a picture of somebody who looks good and wears nice clothes or we wear the same kind of watch and then we put it on social media before you know it's ah they are together oh they are doing what they are doing together you know yes on my case with apostle suleiman anytime it trends like this they'll just start dragging me again Ah, that the freeze has been paid. That if, as in, there's nobody. <laughs> I'm not poor. I might not be wealthy, but I can take care of my family. You understand? Ah, Apostle Suleiman paid him money. Hush Puppy paid him money. Uh, even now, they start saying Ubi Kubana. Ubi Kubana does not know my bank account. Neither does Hush Puppy. Neither does, uh, what is it called? Apostle Suleiman. But you see, it's, it's all, you, you guys, you see, my problem is you see a portion of the, the, the media shows you a portion. And with that portion, you see, your mind now starts playing detective and then you start joining all sorts of things together. Where is Dr. Kemio? I can't find her again. No. Now, somebody's saying, bring a lawyer who can educate us on extradi extradition. Okay, do we have a lawyer in here, a well-educated lawyer, a lawyer who understands, a lawyer who understands extradition or extradition? I keep saying dition. I'm used to that. Um... Dr. Kemi, what's going on? I can't see you. Let me send. Okay. Lawyer, lawyer. If you're a lawyer, send me an invite. Let me bring you live. Somebody suggested that I bring a lawyer. I'm on this e-money birthday where they come. This e-money birthday where they come. Hmm. Oh, more man. I go price shoe today because that kind of place, they know the... the you go with shoe, it no not make sense. <laughs> you go trend. Though. All the shoes where they see $1,100, $1,200. I don't even see shoe of $700. Oh, boy. She said, uh -huh. bring me, I'm a lawyer. Now, don't joke with me. I bring you here, you're not a lawyer, I will tongue lash you. I will tell you what you don't like to hear. I am Barista Mike. Okay, let me bring you here. Yeah, hey, hello, Daddy Chris. How you doing? I've been on my page, get the issue, because I can't hear people. Hello, Daddy Chris. How you doing? I'm doing very well. I can't see you. Yeah, just just hold on. Just hold on. Let me um let me put on my light and come outside. Okay, put on hey. your lights. Okay, can you hear me now? Clearly. Okay, yeah, so um, first of all, how you doing? Can you hear me? Very well, thank you. I can hear you clearly. Okay, yeah, so um, my name is Darlington, and I'm... I'm okay, Darlington, you. you're a lawyer. Yeah, I'm talking to you from... Um, I'm talking to you from um, Boston, Massachusetts, United States okay. of America. You can okay. see around it, it's still afternoon here. So um, let me let me talk about let me talk about Kiari. Now mm. about Kiari. Now I live in I live in the United States of America, right? Now the FBI, the FBI is a wing of the United States. It's they are called the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Okay. Before the FBI can mention the FBI, how their operation works is, for example, in America, you see the sheriff, you see the police, they wear a tag 
on their shirt and they, they drive a vehicle, you see it's the police. But the FBI, they don't wear no tags. In fact, you can, you can be walking on the road and you can see someone with just a cam of, um, 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 a, a normal mufti like I'm wearing, but you don't know that it's, it's, it's an FBI. In the airport, the FBI, they are highly trained that in the airport, if someone is trying to smuggle drugs into the country, sometimes the FBI, they don't hold you in the airport. They will allow you to move, to enter into the country. They will, they will clear you, but, but they, they have a radar. Because, for example, in Nigeria, the police, the police, they just, maybe they stop you on the road, they will just arrest you. But the FBI, what they want to do is, they want to get everybody in the, in the they want to get the whole ring of the people. Now, there was, the, I, I, I watched some documentary of some people who smuggled drugs into the country. The FBI will allow them, to, they will clear you, they will check you from the airport, from the customs. They've, they've, they've spotted drugs around you, either you hid it in your body or maybe, but they, they, they've caught you. They will allow you to enter into the country. They will start trailing you. Even if you have a connecting flight, they will fly with you in that, uh, in that, in that plane, in economy self. You, do, you won't know. They will allow you to enter into the country. They will clear you. Then when you are going to deliver it, they will use um, max cars to follow you and they will pick you, pick the person who you are going to deliver, the person who you are going to deliver to or your, your client or everybody, pick everybody in the syndicate. Now, when FBI mentioned Abakiari, the Nigerian government, even if they don't want to extradite him, they would have at least, okay, let's have a talk one-on-one -on -one because the FBI, they are called Federal Bureau of Investigations. If the FBI mentioned anybody's name, no matter who you are, it is 100%. The FBI, they are not God. Though. They are not God. They are still agencies. But the FBI, if the FBI mentioned anybody's name, they've done total radar investigation. Do you know what they call radar investigation? Hmm. So when I, when I saw that they mentioned Abakiari's name and the government tried to hide everything, that was when I knew that this man truly, truly, there's something going on around him. And now, I don't know why the NDLEA have... I don't know what they are trying to plan. I don't know if they are trying to help the if they are trying to um you know make the extradition easy or they are just trying to use something that will make them okay say okay we have him we have held him he has a case so i've had to also us hold your okay so i don't know what they're trying to do but immediately the fbi mentioned him that was when i knew that okay yes this man's hands there are so there are, there are some kind of things going on because before the, the fbi they don't mention names fbi they do background investigations and they just want to pick you from where you are fbi be, with hush puppy the FBI had a connection. They did not mention him out. They went straight in a, in a covert operation to pick him. Now, for Abba Kiyari's case, by mentioning him out, you know that they've done thorough investigation. So, like I said, I don't know what's going on with this case, but if he has to answer to NDLEA, let him go ahead. But my point is, the extradition should have been done long ago. Long ago. The Nigerian government have the right to say, okay, you mentioned my our then he was the IGP. Okay, you mentioned my IGP out. Okay, what 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 are your listings? Because they just mentioned him out that like he has connections to Hush Puppy, but they did not mention the details of what this. For example, we saw a transaction of five hundred million dollars between so and so dates, between so and so time. They didn't mention the details, but they just called him out that he has some links. What I expect the government to do is okay. If you want to come in, or if you want us to bring him out, these are the terms. Okay, these are this. This is what we're going to do. We we'll agree on so and so thing. But the Nigerian government should have at least brought a talk or a link to the U.S. government, but they they, they covered it down. So, like I said, I don't know what this NDLA matter with him and drugs. I don't know what they're trying to do. But if they covered him from the FBI after FBI mentioned him, that means they have a plan with all this whole thing. So. My point is, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Ah, you just thought, you say you don't know what's going on. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Uh, what's the name of your guest, Freeze? I can't hear Freeze, though. I can't hear. He said he's a lawyer, sorry. I asked he's a lawyer. lawyer. What's your name, bro? Hello? Hello, hi, can you hear me? Ah, bring him back. Hey. Freeze. Bring him back, bring him back. Okay. All right, Azikemi, go Let ahead. Me, to elaborate on what he said, he's saying the right thing. Okay, guys, listen very carefully. 
what that guy said is really, really important. Remember, the FBI said they have 97,000 documents on Hush Puppy and Abakiari. Freeze, remember that? I remember he reading that somewhere. I the phone number that Hush Puppy used at the American Embassy when he went to apply for a visa in 2017, they denied him. He scattered the place. He pounced on the table, scattered papers, everything, and walked out very angry. The phone number he used in the application is the same phone number that he used to talk with Abakiari back and forth in Dubai. So they linked Abakiari to him straight up. Show you get. From yeah. what I know, Louis Shapiro, Hush Puppy's lawyer, he announced that they are not going to be sentencing him anymore on Valentine's Day, and they will move that sentencing to July. I found out that there's another announcement on Valentine's Day that was coming down from Nigeria, but I did not know it was Abakiari. So you understand? So mm. that must be the reason why they moved the sentencing. They can't sentence us copy until Abakiari testifies. You understand what I'm saying? First stop, he has to testify in that case. He's the one that allegedly took the $1.1 million from the Qatari businessman. Him, Chibuzo, the two ladies, and Abakiari. So this case is very well tied to the FBI because the FBI is in Nigeria. They came with declassified files and they have an attache office inside the embassy in Lagos and Abuja. So at the end of the day, that is what's going on. The case has been reported in the US media now. Decorated cop in the hush puppy case arrested for drug dealing. Why hasn't Abakiari been removed from the force? Why is he still DCP Abakiari? By now, they should have stripped him of his title, don't you think? Um, with the heavy, you know, it is still, let me try to play devil's advocate here. It is still alleged. It is still, um, he's not been convicted yet. Uh, we, we, we saw the frames, but I believe you'll need a proper conviction from a superior court. Um, before we can now say, okay, he's a drug dealer. Uh, for now, we just say he was arrested um, over drug charges. Let, 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 let's be politically correct. You don't want any. But Nigerians, Nigerians believe he was arrested so that he can be delayed. So that extradition can be delayed. That's what Nigerians believe. The whole of Twitter. I find that very worrying. It's Am not true. It can't even be true. It's not true at all. It's a different case that just happened in January. Hmm. So that's all I have to say about it. Okay. Um, I now want to say something. Do you think... Do you think that we can move forward as a nation if we get our police, even if it's an allegation? Uh, yeah. Yahoo, fraud, and then drugs. And then you know that these same police officers are the same ones arresting, quote and unquote, Yahoo, Yahoo boys. Boys who... Yeah. What do you think the future of this nation is with regards to law enforcement? I'm a bit worried. <clears throat> the future of the nation with regards to law enforcement. You saw what happened today. The special tactical squads have been closed and the IRT. Never in Nigerian history has the intelligence response unit being closed. They shut them down. We don't know when they're going to reopen them. 
this week it might be the most dangerous week in Nigeria with kidnappers, excuse me, and bandits with no IRT officers and no STS, special tactical squad. So the future of law enforcement in Nigeria is going down because of these criminal cartels. But Daddy Freeze, it's not just Nigerian police that have criminal cartels. U.S. police have them. U.K. has them. The chief of police of U.K. stepped down last week. Do you know that? Hmm. Did you know that the, the metropolitan lady. chief, the eh, lady. she stepped down and did the honorable thing? Would Usman Baba and Kali step down? No. Nigerians will step down. They will continue acting stupid. I think the IGP has to step down. Sorry, I'm in my fridge. The IGP needs to step down, but they will never step down. Do you understand what I'm saying? Clearly. They will never step down. They will continue to sit on that position. Akali was the side guy to Adamu, when Adamu was IGP, before he got fired. You know what I mean? Yes. So at the end of the day, everything is about power and power struggle. Abba Kiari needs to be swiftly, swiftly tried. But it has now become a fight between the police and the NDLEA. The police want the NDLEA officers charged. Did you know? But the NDLEA has not charged their own officers in the state. Mm. They only charged Kiari. Wow. Yeah. I'm eating a date and it's very hard. So they only charged Kiari and all that. So okay. let me go to um, bed. You see my hair? Um, Dr. Kem, we have a gentleman with us. Uh, let him introduce yeah. himself. Let's hear what he has to say. And also, when we come back, we'll be talking about the extradition process. What does yeah. it involve? I would like to Nigeria doesn't uh, have a treaty. When we come back. So in the meantime, yeah. um, hello, sir. How are you doing? Hi, Dr. Fris. Um, yeah, my name is Ramsey, and I've been following you for a long time. So... Um, um, I've been requesting to speak, but um, I'm glad today that uh, you can speak. My worry is not just about Kiari in this situation. There are lots of uh, people in the police that are actually like Abba, Abba Kiari. They're doing the same thing. Abba Kiari might be involved in a draw, um, you know, as it's a suspect. Let's put it allegedly, uh, you know, involved. Uh, but there are issues in Nigerian police that affect citizens. We should, you know, talk about that. We should expose them that police uh, actually, you know, uh, investigated um, if they are uh, found, uh, you know, to be in default of any situation, they should be tried because it's difficult for Nigerians. Many Nigerians cannot travel from one town to town. They have to bribe the police. Uh, if you have happen to have anything that looks nice, they might arrest you or kidnap you to their station to ex take money from you. So there are a lot of things that are happening. Uh, we should look into those too. You know, uh, you see a lot of police officers are buying houses, uh, buying cars that their salary cannot buy in years. I'm not saying they shouldn't have, but we have to look into processes that, you know, that money comes out for them to buy all these things. So it's important, not just police, the civil service. Okay. Thank you, you very much for your contribution. Is. Thank you very much. I want to keep the comments um, short so that more people can come in. Dr. Kemi, over to you. Uh, what Thank you. Do you. Ramsey, take care. God bless you, bro. Um, Dr. Kemi, over to you. Nigeria does not have a formal extradition treaty with the United States of America. Many people have been extradited and it failed. Guruji Kashamu is the most famous one. It was in that case, 20 something years ago. Everybody was convicted. They came out, they made money from the movie. Um, Orange is now black. He carried drugs. Guruji Kashamu was, you know, accused of are carrying you, are drugs. Are you sure about this? 
Ah, you don't know that case in Buruji, I, I know I'm... of a case, but I don't know if he was convicted or if he uh, actually did it or did what they, they convicted him in a. They convicted him in a absentia. Kashamuteri was his brother, look alike, but he did not. He did not. Was never extradited. He fought extradition very vigorously. And Obasanjo just trolled him so much and wanted him to be extradited. The NDLA surrounded his house. Remember that? The NDLA surrounded Kasamu's house because the charge in America was a drug deal. Do you understand me? Kiari's charge in America is fraud. Who is around his house now? You know what I mean? Did mm. they set him up? Did they set him up? And why was he calling them? He was calling the NDLE boys at the airport for his part of the consignment of the cocaine. So you get. And he should never have been calling because he was not on duty. He was suspended. So for that alone, the IGP should step down. The IGP? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should step down for that alone. You're the head of your IRP. Yeah, I don't think the IRP right? should step down, though. Mm -mm. The head of your IRT that is suspended is making phone calls while suspended to the NGLEA. So that's not where that's was not IGP. IGPs. You see, yes, we have issues in Nigeria, but do, do you guys think the IGP should step down over that? I personally don't. I, I, IGP. I think IGP has did he not go to this band. Freeze, did, did Gary not go to the IGP son's wedding? Emma has a rock band. Oh, no. Hold on, see it's where did you like, It's like me and you are doing a live video now. Tomorrow, they mm -hmm. now say, um, uh, Kemi Luno, you stabbed somebody. So automatically, me too, I'm now a stabber. You understand? I, 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 mm -hmm. I agree that the IGP needs to look into what's going on in his tactical teams, but I don't think mm -hmm. that he needs to step down. Oh, in both people too, uh, I know we are going somewhere. We're going to a place where uh, we'll be like the rest of the world and everybody's going to be held accountable for what they do. But at this stage, step down is a little, is a little hasty in my humble okay. opinion. Okay. So why... Okay, so why did the IGP tell him to delete all the pictures from the Facebook page? 460 pictures of the wedding. Freeze, uh, have you ever so uploaded they're 460 the IG. Eh? They are probably trolling the IGP. You know, right now, anybody who took pictures with Abaki Ari would be, if I ever had a picture with Abaki, I, ah, they would only troll me right now, say, hey, Daddy, please, mm -hmm. don't go collect from IG. So, you, you know, yes, I understand. Uh, I understand. Somebody there won't be an extradition. I'm not trying to play safe. I have to be sure before I can make a statement. Do you understand? I'm not yeah. a journalist. Dr. Kemi Ulu Lawyer is a journalist. She is covered by journalism. I am not. You understand? She can make the kind of statements I can, can't can make. I have to be 100% sure before I can make a statement. So unless I see a judgment or... And even then, then when you see a judgment, once the judgment is appealed and you made the statement and then later they win the appeal, they can still come after you. So we need to be very careful with, with things like that. Um, mm -hmm. I know they fear police wahala, but I need to be sure that what I'm saying, I can defend it. Okay, uh, I was looking for a lawyer, a Nigerian lawyer, who can come in and talk about extradition as we officially Thierry. round all. Not yeah, Kerry is going to... He's, before your lawyer okay, starts... Ah, this, this is my friend now. Yes. And, hey, Dr. Kenny, How are you? When you call me silly, I said, don't call me silly. I left Instagram. <laughs> I, know. I left to say I'm teaching. I'm teaching now. Yeah, on this page, this two to two page. Yeah, let me let me let me fix something real quick before we continue. Nigeria yes. has an extradition treaty with, Niger uh, with US. It was signed December twenty second, nineteen thirty one, and entered into force June twenty fourth, uh -huh. nineteen thirty five. 
unless it has been annulled, that that's what's still trending. Nigeria so we actually against... have an extradition Nigeria. treaty. Yes. We have one, but they don't ever enforce and, and, it. And, and, and let me say this. It has, okay, um, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Chima Lombello. I'm a lawyer practicing here in the United States. I oh, reside wow. in California. So when She's I'm, one of the best lawyers. I make sure I'm speaking from a place of authority. So mm. now, we have an extradition thing with U.S., and I see so many Nigerians that have been extradited from, the, from Nigeria to U.S. hands. When Nigerians commit crime and run home, they go back even in their villages and bring them back here. Uh -huh. Now, let's talk mm. about the extradition system. I'm going to, it takes two phases. First of all, if the United States is requesting for this man, what's his name? Abakari? I'm sorry if I mother his name. Abakiyari. Abakiyari. Very nice name. Yes. If they want him here, there's something that if he have committed something here in the U.S. and if he has been established, however, they have to go through some hurdles. So we have gone through the hurdle to say, yes, we have an extradition system. Now, the next thing is they have to now present his case to the judicial phase. Judicial phase is where a body here in the U.S. have to determine if this crime is worth an extradition, if a crime has been committed, then once that has been established, then they will send it to the Nigerian government, which is now called the execution phase. During the execution phase, the Nigerian government will now look into the reason why this person has, is, U.S. is requesting for this person to be extradited, and then the Nigerian government will decide, do we surrender this person or not? Yeah, so we go to the surrender phase. So now it takes a lot of time, though. It's not when you request that you surrender, no, because there are some other things that go in between. I'm not going to go into the intricacies of everything else involved. There are some negotiations, some things to know, some things to play. Lawyers battling, you know, the lawyers can fight something for years and months. So it's not that easy. It's not an easy of just um, bait and catch, no. It has to go to, through a process. But I believe that once the judicial phase, the U.S. have said, hey, we've concluded there's something going on here, they will notify the Nigerian government, and Nigerian government will now have to look into it. They're not going to go, oh, please, take him. No. They will go into their own judicial uh, execution phase to find out if the allegations made against their citizen Mm. Goes under the law and rules of extradition because you can't just go, oh, if he committed this in the U.S., if you say so, then he can go. So that's how extradition I works. have a question. Yes. I have a question for you. Are you uh, what I want to tell you, it's been a while we saw each other, but look. Yes, go ahead. My dad is now 86 and he's messaging me now. Mm -hmm. He's messaging me now saying that what is just said. He said there is an extradition treaty. It's just that it's so long and no one's ever enforced it. But they extradited one person successfully. A guy that carried drugs. Do you remember that case? Yes. Kevin, they're still doing it. I have a case right now. Okay, I'm not... See, I yeah. Have to go, I don't want to go into my... He, ca he carried drugs yeah, from Dubai. Remember that? Okay. He carried okay. drugs from Dubai to Nigeria. Kevin. Let me say this, Dr. Kemi. Let me say there's another case which I'm involved in. So I don't want to divulge that information. It involves a rape thing. This guy ran to yeah. Nigeria and he's been excited. So there are so many. It's still there. But the key thing is we have the treaty and it's ongoing and they can extradite people real quick. And the other thing that I said, I, you see, the, when one thing, I don't mix apples and oranges. When... Mm. The, I'm sorry, one uh, that freeze. I'm sorry, yes, Daddy yes, freeze. yes. I was gonna say, Daddy, Daddy freeze, Dr. yes. <laughs> when Daddy freeze. freeze said something about this guy that is being arrested and being questioned or something under the custody, I was saying, Look, I understand that Obi Kubana had they arrested him, they released him, or he was questioned, wasn't released. So I said, Let's not mix apples and oranges by bringing his name here because most yes. people that went on will be confused. They were friends. Obi Kubana is in the business of selling liquor and things. Anyone, okay, let me say this. For example, I'm a lawyer. I have friends that drink and drive and everything. And sometimes I give them right. If they arrest them on drunk driving, you're not going to come arrest me because you have seen me driven the person once. That's the way. So I try to separate apples and oranges. 
Dr. Kemi was saying the right thing. However, some people here, once they log on, guess what? They are going to go, oh, they're saying that Obi Kubana did this. No, so please, that's why I said what I said. Let's leave Obi, Obi Kubana out of this uh, Kairi, Abba Kairi. I, I hope I'm getting that name right. You know, so, I agree with you. I agree with yeah. you, Miles. So that, that was the only reason why I made that. Uh, and Dr. Kemi, you have to apologize to me by saying that I should not be silly. You know, we are friends. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> you didn't know it was you. Me. I didn't know it was you. I don't know what the other people are saying. You, what people are saying. You, sorry, my dear. Mwah. Okay, sweetie, I still love you. Please, yeah. Yeah. keep her. Follow her hand. Do free. I didn't even put the seat back, babe. Try it off now. Sit down. Sit down. If you lose, just go lower something. You see that? Yeah. She's one of the but best Nigerian lawyers in America. Daddy, please. Whenever you think you have something to be legally tackled, if I'm a villain, get out. Let me know, and I'll give you the answer. Get in, get out. Oh, oh this is my workplace now. Definitely, definitely. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm following you back. Chimelu yes. Mbelu, Chimelu Mbelu, Chimelu Mbelu. Wife, yes, mother, me. sister, friend, attorney at law. Yes. Awesome, that's awesome, me. awesome. So I'm following that's you already. Chimelu, what about our friend now? Who? What about that's our that's friend? So yeah. Let's yes. not discuss that. Let's not discuss that on Daddy Free's side. So he has a lot. Oh of yeah, privacy. Let's keep it simple <laughs> and focus because this All is All right, a this is actually thing. where we end it. Thank you so yes. much, ladies. Thank you, Doctor. You Thank welcome. You, you welcome. Uh, nice to see you again, though. Nice, nice to, to see you again. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Me. Thank you for having me, Daddy Free. Please, yes, Doctor Kemi. Kemi. This is my baby. He's Thank my baby. you, everybody. Good night. Bye. Okay, good night. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. Lovely, lovely having these beautiful ladies today. And um, it's always a pleasure sharing knowledge. You know, I'm, I'm always very big on sharing knowledge. How are you guys doing? Real quick, um, I want to talk about the uh, Forex robot because quite a lot of people are sending me messages. Daddy Freeze, Daddy Freeze, we're interested in the Forex robot, and we want to invest. All right, send Daddy Freeze along with your name, WhatsApp only, to 080-231-79239. Of course, you know Forex trading is quite risky, but I know you're smart enough to take only calculated risks. Having a baby is risky. Um, everything in life is risky, and Forex is too. Um, but... I invested $10,000 of my money because it's a risk I'm personally willing to take. Are you willing to take that risk? Think about it. It's always up to you. Uh, send Daddy Freeze along with your name to 080-231-79239. If you're not interested in the Forex talk, it's okay. It's all well and good. It's up to you. Uh, but like I said, if you are interested... Remember, Forex can be rewarding. It can also be risky. But the number to send a WhatsApp message to is 080-231-79239. Send Daddy Freeze and your name by WhatsApp only. Don't call the number. WhatsApp only. Take care. God bless. And see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>